Hello and welcome to a diary and kind of unboxing thing for the Vital Bracelet from Digital Monsters, or Digimon, as it's known. This is the black version, obviously, as you can see. Um, so for those of you who don't know what this is, they've just clicked on this out of curiosity. The Vital Bracelet is the newest digital pet from Digimon, uh, oh well, from Bandai specifically. And it's kind of an interesting mishmash, really. It's a digital pet, but it's also a bit like a Fitbit, sort of. We'll get into that later. Uh, and as you can see, there's kind of card things. Uh, we'll take a look at the top, actually, because this will show you exactly what's in the package. So this is, the, uh, you get the Vital Bracelet itself. You get the Impulse City DIM card. DIM cards are, I think, things you kind of scan in with di different Digimon on. And you get a Versus DIM card as well. Now, just a disclaimer as well, as you can probably tell from the packaging, this is a Japanese product. This isn't sold in the West yet. I don't know, there, there may be plans in the future, apparently. I just pre-ordered this and uh, imported it from Japan because I was really excited for it. So on the side as well, it mentions some of the features. Now, I'm just going to give a disclaimer here. One of these parts uh, will not be working and I'll tell you in a second. So we've got the pulse link that measures your pulse and stuff. That's the Fitbit part of it. We've got touch link. I don't know what that means exactly. And we've got the app log link. Now, unfortunately, I did some research, I tried to download the app, because there is a companion app, a Vital Bracelet, uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, it's a Japanese app, so you've got to use Co-app or something to download it, and unfortunately it wasn't compatible with either my phone or my tablet, so I'm not going to be able to use that at all, which is, which is a shame, but you know, it, it is what it is. And on the other side, there we are, that kind of shows how DIM cards connect, I think, you slot them in somewhere, maybe. And um, on the back there's just loads of Japanese legal stuff. And there's the back bottom. Right, so I'm going to slide, uh, slit this open now and slide it out. Alright, that is that open. Now, I'm going to level with everyone here. The most research I've done is trying to download the companion app. I do not know how the rest of this works, unfortunately. So, this will be a learning experience. There's nothing else in the box. Good. Right. Let me change angles. So, there we go. So we've got, first up, I guess it's worth opening up um, these two things. So, there's the USB cable, which is no doubt going to be very useful. Uh, oh, is it? No, it's not USB-C. Fair enough. That's a very short cable. Um, fair enough. And let's see, what language is this in? Oh, it's in Japanese. So, unfortunately, I genuinely can't read... I can't read kanji, basically. Uh, I can read kana, but to be honest, I don't understand Japanese enough to really confidently read the kana, even. So I'm going to take a very quick look here now, just to see if um, I can follow the simple picture instructions, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've just had a quick look. It seems pretty simple. You turn on the bracelet, which I'll try and do off camera because I'll be fiddling for the on switch. Then it'll come on, you set the date and stuff, you grab your DIM card, scan the DIM card, it'll it'll wait, it'll read, it'll accept it. Then I think you set it on yourself, the kind of like, it'll monitor your pulse or something, and then it'll sync up. And yay, it's done. So, if I get really stuck, I'll just look up a guide or something online. So, next thing up is, now you've probably mentioned, you've probably heard me mention DIM cards a lot. So, another thing that the Vital Bracelet does, which is interesting, is instead of kind of making you buy different digital pets, uh, well, versions of it, with different Digimon in it, instead you kind of get these things that are like upgrades, if that makes sense. So, maybe not upgrades, but you know what I mean, like cards you slot in and they'll have different Digimon. Now, there are a few out already. There's an Agumon and a Gabumon one. Which, on reflection, I should have bought, really. I don't know why I didn't buy it. Um, but th there are more coming out soon and stuff. So this is kind of cool. So all you really need is one bracelet. And then buy the dim cards of Digimon you like, I suppose. Um, which I, I, I kind of like. You know, it, it, it makes it a little easier than having to buy, like, four different units. Because, like... Four of your favourite Digimon are on separate things. So this is the uh, this is the vital bracelet, and I think that's the versus thing. 
That is versus memory. I'm not going to take that out for now because uh, I don't know anyone with another vital bracelet. So I can't see myself battling anyone anytime soon. Now, I have... Oh, wrong way around. I have heard people say, actually, that this is a little um, small on their wrist. And I think, I think they're actually coming out with a different wristband. But as you probably noticed my video, that I have incredibly thin wrists. Uh, it, it's a genetic condition. So, I will not have any problem with that. Um, right, having said which, I'm going to go and like, unclasp it and maybe look for the power button. Because uh, that's just going to be tedious to do on camera. So, I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. I turned the on switch on a little too early. Um, and then realised I'd, uh, I'd need to film it. So, there it is. It's on now. So, I'm going to go um, put in the date. All right, there we go. So I do believe if I click this, right? No, wrong one. If I click this, oh, now I've got to set the time. Obviously, I'm um, Bobby. All right, sorry, it, it it's slightly too bright. If that makes sense, but yeah, boy. Ah, right. Now it's time for the dim card. So let's put that there. And let's take this out of its packaging. So that is a DIM card. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, it does say Impulse City on it. So this has the Digimon that is... Oh, where did the screen go off? Hello? Ah, okay. Uh, so this has the Digimon... I can't remember its name now, but it digivolves into this, obviously. So, the DIM slot, I believe. You... Pull this out like that. It has a slot in there. I think. Let me turn it on once more. Put that in there. It is waiting. Okay. Oh, two. That's good. So I'm not sure exactly what what it's using, like technology-wise, it, it looks like a USB, like a U rudimentary USB stick kind of thing. And so also, if you want to charge it, you pull open this uh, rubber thing here, and underneath is the charge slot. Ah! Accepted! Right. Now it's time to take the DIM card out. Ah, right, okay, now it's to put it on my wrist, so BRB. All right, this is a very awkward position, but as you can see, um, an egg did hatch as I was putting it onto my wrist. Uh, oh, that, that goes off kind of fast, doesn't it? So, I'm going to mess about with it a little bit, just to see, like, what modes it has and stuff, and then I'll show you guys what I can do with it, instead of me messing about and spending ten minutes finding obvious stuff. So, I'll be back in a bit. All right, so I'm back, and I've been on a small walk around my house. Um, so as you can see there, I have built 15 impulse points, I think. And I've taken 267 steps, except that's not exactly accurate, because if I shake my wrist a little bit off screen, and go back to it, I've now done 273. So... It, it, it's the basic kind of step counter thing. So I'm going to show you guys what the uh, what the modes are on this. So that, that kind of keeps sticking out. But that's the charge port. So on this side, there's not really anything apart from the DIM card slot thing that you'd slide out. Now, underneath, uh, going on on my wrist, I think there's some kind of sensor. Apparently some people have had issues with this sensor. I have not. But it, it's early days. I will be doing a diary after this. So I'll be updating you um, maybe when my Digimon digivolves. Or just like every couple of days or something. Just to kind of work out if uh, there are any issues I've picked up. Or if there's something I really like that I've picked up on. So um, let's get into it. So there are two buttons. There's one down there and one up here. One down there, if you press this on the menu, it'll ask to connect to the app. Now, I do not have the app, as I've said, so I just click away. That's kind of... Basically, that's accept, and that is cycle, essentially. 
if that makes sense, so there's two buttons, sorry, it's really hard to see in this angle, there you go. So that's cycle, and the bottom one is accept. So, now this goes off after like 30 seconds, it makes sense, it saves battery. So we've got a couple modes. So the first one is this. Now, I think this is what you would do to like walk around and you build it, so I'll shake my wrist a little bit. Uh, obviously, I'd go for a walk, probably, or something, but let's see now. No, still, oh, was that 16? It just, I don't know. Uh, no, 15. Okay, cool. So it just, it kind of shows, I think, anyway, hang on. Oh, wait, yeah. Sorry, I'm going way ahead there. Let's do this again. Can I? No. Ah, oh, that's my heart rate, 80 over 84. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I don't know if that's a good heart rate. That probably is. 290 steps. And back. That's cool. So that's... Ah, right. So this is your vital screen, is what I'm going to call it. That's how many vital points you've built. That's your regular heartbeat. That's how many steps. And then you can just go back. Which is fair enough. So, next up is the Digimon screen. So, this will say it's Dokimon. Um, right, so if you can't read Japanese, so that is Dokimon. So, Mon, you, you learn, if you ever look up Japanese Digimon stuff, Mon, you can kind of write off, you'll you recognise that. I wish you'd stay on a bit longer. Okay, cool. So, that is Dokimon, that's his name. That's how many days you've had there, and obviously that is the Digimon there. What can you do there? Ah, so the DP, HP, and A... No, GP, sorry. No, DP, HP, and AP. 100, ah, there we are. So that's your win screen with battles. Trophies. I've heard of trophies. I haven't delved into that yet. And then back. So we'll go back. So that that's your basic, like, Digimon screen. Now, I want to experience this with you guys. This is training. Or, I think when it digivolves to Rookie... Oh. Oh, I can't, because it's still in training, isn't it? Okay. This is back up. Right, okay, so I think you can, like... Um, I think you can back it up onto your DIM card. So let's say you bought the Agumon or Gabumon DIM card or whatever comes out in future. I think this lets you back it back up onto this DIM card. It'll then save it, so let's say you put it back in in, like, two months' time, it'll remember. That's the app. I'm not going to touch that because that wants to connect to the app, which, as I said, I can't get to work, which is devastating, really. Uh, and then we got settings. There's time. I want to say that's date, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. That is indeed date. First of the fourth? No, that's not okay at all. What? Hang on. Oh, yo. Whoa, hang on. Dude, look at that. So they're wallpapers! Oh, and that's Impulse City's background! Okay. Uh, for sure. Green, thank you very much. That's brightness. Three, four, five, four. Yeah, I'll leave it on three. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Sound. What can you do with sound? Okay, on or off. Fair enough. They keep it on, but... I may wear this to work, so I'm probably going to turn uh, turn it off for then. That, I think, is like delete the Digimon. I'm not going to touch that, because I don't want to. I'm back. And I think... That's essentially it, right? It was after the settings, and then you're back to that. So, it's fairly straightforward. Now, unfortunately, because it's Dokimon, and he's an in-training Digimon... I can't, I can't battle or train or anything, so I think basically this is going to be the unboxing portion of the video wrapped up. So next I'm going to fil film, as I mentioned, periodically, maybe when he digivolves and when I can do some training and stuff and just to update you guys on things I've learned or things I've looked up. I'm going to look up maybe a small user guide online just to see if there's anything I'm missing and maybe try and work out if there's a way that I could download the um, the app to work. Because I really want the app to work, but I don't know. Um, I, I'm going to call it 
I'm going to call it quits and say that I can't, so don't expect to see that in the upcoming diary. But if you don't want to stick around for that and just want to see what the product was like and what the modes are, thank you very much for watching. I'll be making Digimon uh, videos in the future, uh, probably the card game and stuff. And I may be buying like other dim cards and stuff. I'm holding out hope they'll make a Terriamon one eventually. They've just announced the Tamers ones. I think there's Gilmon and Impmon and Renamon. So, there's a chance. But yeah, if you want to stick around though, there will be a small diary segment where I just keep you updated on how Dokimon is doing. So, until then, see you in a minute. Alright, so it's time to Digivolve, I think. So, let's click a button. Oh, oh. oh yo, that's really cool. Evolution to... Oh, yeah, boy, he has Digivolved, right. That's really cool. Let's go, let's go take a look at what his name is, then. Bibimon. Bibimon? Bibimon. Oh, Dodomon. Dodomon? Hang on, is that Tor? No, that is he. Okay, Bibi. Bibimon. So, um, so Doki, Dokimon meant something like heartbeat, I think. That is Bibimon. And Bibi, I think, is onomatopoeia. Ah! Oh yeah, that's cool. So we can see Dokimon as well, and uh, that's Bibimon, obviously stage two. Very nice. All right then. Well, I may potentially be able to train and stuff now, so I'll um, go and take a look at that, and I'll be right back. Moment of truth. Nope. Okay then. Well, right. Um, so I'll just keep uh, I'll keep walking and exercising, as you can see there. We are up to two, uh, 62, no, hang on, 62 V-points and 767 steps. Despite the fact I haven't actually walked very much, but uh, BB1 is very cute, so I'm glad to have him. I shall do another update when he digivolves, probably. Alright, so just a pro tip as well, when uh, Digimon's digivolving on this, uh, if you don't touch anything, it actually goes off after a few seconds, but when you touch it again... It goes back, so let's digivolve. Um, I was actually just sitting down for this one, so I don't know what set it off. Maybe it's a timer thing. Yo, there's our boy. So he is the kind of poster child, I do believe, of the vital bracelet. So let's see if we can work out what his name is, shall we? It is. Oh, hang on. All right, that was a little bit harder to read, to be honest. Uh, but that is Pulsmon or Parusumon, uh, as the katakana seems to be up there. So yeah, he is the kind of um, as I said poster child for th this entire thing. Really, I think all of his digivolutions are all linked to um, you know li linked to exercise and stuff like that. So. I do believe with that, oh hang on, uh, I do believe with that it means we can finally train. So I'm going to slightly angle this slightly better. Alright, hope you guys can see that there. It is time to do some training, hopefully. Normal mission, hard mission, special mission, add mission. Let's do a normal mission, shall we? Goal 300. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right, okay, so... Cool, so I guess my goal is to walk 3,000 steps or something? Interesting. Okay, my heart rate is currently 80 over 65. Was that 60? That's really hard to see on the viewfinder, actually. Right, oh, I'm going to have to go do some more walking. So what are my other uh, missions then? What's a hard mission? Squat, okay. Uh, oh, oh god, I have to do some squats. Okay then, BRB. Ah, okay, I didn't get back in time. Um, cool. I <laughs> wow, I probably didn't do very good squats there, but uh, I apparently cleared it, which is cool because I've I think I've got like more. Uh, oh no, I've got six. What? How? 
Should I just go down by doing squats? What? Okay. Cool. Um, my heart rate has increased slightly, as you can see. Cool. Oh, okay then. So, I guess... My main one? No. No, 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 no. I'm going to... Two, three thousand steps, and I've done twenty-six apparently. Okay, cool. I guess I can do that. Um, cool. All right then. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a quick walk, I guess, maybe or something. Um, but yeah, it's stage evolved. Pulsemon is pretty cool. So I don't know how you unlock training or whatever, because I, I don't know. Maybe it's just. I'm sure there's like a fight thing, surely, right? Maybe not. Maybe I do need the app for that. Well, if that's the case, that kind of sucks. But hey, let's, um, let's go for a walk. And by let's, I mean I'm going to, and I'll, I'll come back later. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so it has just gone 8pm. It's really hard to see on the display, unfortunately. Um, but I don't know if you can see there, but my Digimon is asleep, which means... That I was going to head out for a walk, um, admittedly I was lazy and put off the walk, but when I got to use it, you cannot use it. So, another thing just to keep in mind is that when your Digimon goes to sleep, it goes to sleep. Um, you can technically still build watts, for example, I will make that number go up. There you go, it's kind of gone up three or something. But, um, but yeah. That's that's pretty much it. So apparently each Digimon has like a bedtime or something, which is interesting, I suppose. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Now, I have heard as well, there's a tip apparently, that I've got quite a few uh, volt points there, like over 100 now. Uh, however, I have heard that if you leave this on, just, you know, whilst you go to bed, obviously not on your wrist, you know, just take it off. Apparently, it drains heavily unless you happen to have the same sleeping pattern as your Digimon. So I have heard a few people say that they turn their turn their DM off. DM? I don't know why I call it a DM, a virtual a vital bracelet, a VB. I heard people turn it off at night. Uh, so let me just demonstrate, just in case you did want to do that. I'm probably going to do that as well, to be honest. So, behind here, as you can see, there is the on-off switch right there. So you just turn that to the right and it will turn off. Now I think, so that's the thing that touches your wrist, basically. Or that is one of the two. I'm not sure. Or both of them. Or maybe neither. Who knows. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how the uh, vital bracelet works as well. So it kind of looks like that when it's not on your wrist. Um, right, okay, well there's going to be no updates really for the next uh, couple hours or ever. So I'm going to be in work tomorrow. So if there is a Digivolution or anything, I'll try and maybe take a photo on my phone. But obviously I won't be filming because I'll, I'll be in work. So uh, I'll update you guys maybe tomorrow afternoon or something. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but keep it frosty. All right, so I'm back. Um, so it's been two days now, actually, and as you can see, my Digimon has Digivolved. So let's go on over to the thing, and as you can see there, it says Ekusamon, which uh, at first I thought was Examon, as in E-X-E-mon, but that's actually already a Digimon. So this is Exermon, uh, from the bottom of the screen, but like as in Exercisemon. Um, so obviously Digimon Digivolve according to different criteria. So I think it's just the fact that I've walked a lot and exercised a lot. Well, I say exercise, I just walked. So yeah, that was pretty cool. It did evolve during work. So I've got a few screenshot, uh, screenshot photos I probably put on screen. Now I've also realised another thing uh, that I tried yesterday. So if we go on over to training, uh, there is normal mission, hard, and special. Special, you have to connect to the app, so I don't know what that is. And advanced mission. Now, if we go into advanced, it'll give you uh, so the stage up to 16, basically. And as you can see, I've done the first four. So essentially what it does is it sets you... I'm not going to go into it now. But it goes into a mode where you walk 500 steps. And when you walk 500 steps, you battle a Digimon. 
and when he battled Digimon, um, basically, sorry, I went really bright for a second there. Uh, when he battled a Digimon, I don't know what affects it exactly, but you either win or lose, and uh, that affects your like DM points or whatever those are called. Uh, so yeah, and so the last thing I've realised as well is Digimon have bed times, and they're different for each Digimon. So I looked this up actually. Um, this is mentioned in the thread about the vital bracelet that I found, but um, Pulsemon went to bed at 8, a, uh, 8 p.m. and woke up at 8 a.m. Now this is my first day with Examon, he's still awake, I'm guessing he's going to go to bed at 10 p.m. because I think he woke up at 10 a.m. because when he did evolved, he went from being awake as Pulsemon to being asleep as Examon. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, um, I I went for quite a big walk today after work actually. Hence, I've got twenty two thousand steps. Um, I have noticed whenever I move my left arm, if I'm grabbing stuff in work or like typing on a keyboard, it counts as a step. I don't know how I feel about that really, but I I feel like I've learned a lot in the last few days. So that's pretty cool. So keep you guys updated. I'll probably be wrapping it up soon. I'm hoping Examon can digivolve. If not, though, I'll kind of give a summary wrap-up uh, thing in the next few days if nothing else happens. So yeah, uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so it has been uh, basically a week now. This is Sunday, and I started recording on Sunday. Uh, and as you can see, Examon has not digivolved. So I'm not fully sure exactly how, how this works yet. But I have uh, two parting things to tell you. So... I've worked out the mission structure, uh, so, well, training missions or whatever, so usually, normal mission will give you a walking target every day, um, as you can see I've been walking around the house a little bit, but that's a tiny amount, I'll do that in no time, um, so that's normal, hard mission, now, these usually give you small exercises, what, I didn't catch that said then. This isn't coming across really great on the camera, I'm, sure. I'm sorry. Um, special mission, you have to scan to the app. And then there's advanced mission. Now, I've worked out what advanced mission is. It'll set you on a long walk. So it'll give you, I think the first level is like 500 steps. Um, then it goes up to 1,000. And every time you reach that goal, you battle a Digimon. Uh, and basically, that kind of is how you battle in this game. So I've not really worked out if there's anything you can do to make to increase your chances or not because I've lost to a few like rookie Digimon, but I've beaten a few I assume champion level Digimon in these battles. So I don't fully know what's going on really. Uh but if we have a look that he doesn't have much energy, bless him. Uh that's my heart rate. I have been doing a small amount of exercise because I've did the um Hard missions like squats and stuff. That's my walk. No, wrong one. Right, sorry. So these are the stats of my Digimon. So as you can see, he's five days old. So this is Examon's age, not every Digimon. So once a Digimon digivolves, it resets the age count, if that makes sense. Um, so that's his HP, EP, and DP, I believe. So that's the battles I've done in advanced mode. So I've only done nine battles so far. Not an incredible amount, but not bad. And then you have trophies. So these are earned from doing the exercises and stuff. Now, you don't earn trophies from advanced mode. Not that I'm aware, anyway. So normal mode, which is the walk-in, you get one for achieving that every day. And then you get one for doing all the hard exercises, like squats and punches and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and so the other thing I forgot to mention as well uh, is battery. So I've charged this about three times now. Roughly speaking, with sound on, most of the time, I do turn it off uh, when I'm in work, uh, usually a battery charge will last something like two, maybe three days at a push. Uh, to be fair though, charging it takes like maybe three hours, if that, to charge, because obviously it's a small, it's a small little battery and stuff, so... Yeah, so I guess it's time kind of my for my conclusion now, because I doubt Examon's going to digivolve. If he does, before I finish editing this, I'll like throw in an image here. But I'm guessing he's not going to digivolve. Now, I don't think Digimon die in this, actually. I think you just start new ones and send the old ones to the app or something. 
or maybe like delete them and try again. I, I don't know, I could be wrong here. Um, but yeah, right, so on to the conclusion. Is getting a vital bracelet worth it? The short answer is, I think, yes. Um, if you tend to be fairly active, uh, and I don't even mean just like, hey, going on my daily 10 mile jog or whatever, but like, if you tend to like going on longish walks or whatever, um, or even if you just need something to kind of motivate you to do a bit of exercise, because I sure as shit would not have done sit-ups and squats uh, just randomly around the house, but this has actually helped me kind of get into a very, very rough routine of doing that. Now, this isn't going to change your world. You're not going to sort of become, you know, a super muscular chad from owning one of these. Um, but, you know, equally, it's it's not bad. I, I quite like it. I like the digital pet aspect. Um, I, I'd always kind of wanted to get a Fitbit because I was curious about my steps and stuff. And to be honest, this is, this is the best of both worlds, I think. It's a virtual pet and it's a bit of a pedometer. If I had to criticise it, I would say that... It's slightly obtuse. You've kind of got to really learn how the systems work, like advanced uh, training and stuff isn't obvious until you start doing it. Uh, and to be honest, whilst it is a pedometer, it does slightly bother me that when I, I don't know, go and pick something up with my left hand and maybe like wash the dishes or whatever, by the end of washing the dishes, I've apparently walked 150 steps because... My left hand has been back and forth grabbing stuff, you know, wiping stuff. So that kind of bothers me, but it, it's just because it's on the wrist, really. It, you, you can't really escape that, to be honest. So, overall, would I recommend this? Uh, I've kind of already answered that, but as a flat thing of yes. If you're into Digimon, I think it's kind of worth it. I'm really looking forward to what they can do with the DIM cards and stuff. I purposely haven't bought any, but I'll probably be buying some in the future. I may do short videos on them, I don't know. But honestly, the the biggest hurdle at the moment is importing this from Japan and kind of learning how the system works. But so long as you've got a bit of patience, um, and maybe a guide or you can read Japanese, then this, I think, is really good. And to be honest, especially if you get the normal kind of colours, like black or white, it really blends in and it just looks like a Fitbit or something, um, which I really like. It's sort of, it's functional along with uh, form. So yeah, that wraps up my uh, diary of the Vital Bracelet. I'm very pleased to have Exum on there. He is a bro, he's just chilling and everything. Um, and yeah, and I go for a nice long walk now because it's a Sunday and it's really sunny out. So if you if you got one of these as well, let me know in the comments below because um, I've seen a bit of stuff online about the Vital Bracelet, but there doesn't seem to be a large community around it. Maybe it's just people are still figuring it out or maybe I'm just not looking in the right places. But either way, that does wrap up this video. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a delight. As I said, I may do some videos on the DIM cards in the future if I buy some. Um, but we'll see, because really it doesn't add much, does it? But, you know. Uh, and I'll be doing other videos, of course, as well. So, stick, you know, uh, keep an eye on the channel and stuff. And yeah, that wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.